Hi there, welcome to PageLayer, I am your PageLayer buddy, and in this video I am going to be showing you how to create a contact form and send successful emails using PageLayer. Now this is a contact form that we are going to be creating here. Now you won't really need to download or install and activate any external plugins. We will actually do all this in your PageLayer plugin and it's going to have this form all integrated and it's easily customizable. So let's begin by going to the pages. Let's go ahead and add our contact form to home page. For doing this, hover to home page and click on edit with page layer. You will be redirected to your home page editor. Let's go ahead and add contact form right under here. Create a new section here by dragging and dropping the new row from the left widget panel. And then add a title here, I'm just going to duplicate my title that I have at the bottom there and drag it to the section we created. And change the name of the title to contact us. Let's add some spacing to the section here by clicking on this options tab. And then add some padding here, so from the top I'm gonna do about 70 pixels, and from the bottom I'll do about 70 pixels. And now we're going to go ahead and grab our contact form. So just go ahead and type, contact and grab this form under here. And this form is called as contact form widget. On the left hand side, you will see different properties of your contact form widget. And on the right side is the display screen of your site, where you can view the live changes of your website. Here is the list of items that is present in your contact form. Let's make each field together. First let's create name input field. For that, enter your label name as name. Choose the field type as text, as the name is going to be text. For making the label as required, enable this required label toggle. For now the label name is visible at the top of the input field. You can keep the same as placeholder by enabling this show label as placeholder toggle. If you want to show label name and placeholder name differently, then keep the show label as placeholder toggle disabled, and can input the placeholder over here. Likewise, let's create input field for email, subject, and message by just clicking on this clone item button or by this add new input field item button, but do not forget to change the appropriate field type. Like for email you can choose the field type as email. For subject the text field is ok to keep as text. And for message field choose the field type as text area. Here you can choose the number of rows you want to display as a text area. This field types will make the appropriate validation on the input from the user. There are different types of field like text, email, number, telephone, checkbox, radio, text area, select, date, file and label. Choose the appropriate type as per you want to display and collect the information. Now, for setting up the width of the input field, you can do so by choosing the width of the appropriate field. For displaying the name field and the email field inline, you can do so by choosing the display type as inline and can set the width of both the field to 50. Likewise you can do for all the field you want to make inline. You can also set the space between different input fields from here.
For redirecting to a specific page after successful submission of form, enable this redirect URL toggle and set the page URL over here. To protect this form from spam and abuse, use Google reCAPTCHA by enabling this toggle and configuring the Google reCAPTCHA in Plugin Settings page. In your dashboard hover to PageLayer plugin and choose Settings. Click on Google reCAPTCHA tab, and enter your site key and secret key and choose the language you want to display the reCAPTCHA in. Do not forget to save your changes. Over here you can set the ID of the form which can be used in email templates. Next is the form name where you can set the name of the form and can be used later in email subject. From here, you can align your form to left, center or right. Next is the label style. From here you can style your labels if set. You can set the label color. It's topography. space between label and the input field. From here you can set the placeholder color and its topography. Next is the input style, where you can style your input fields, and will be viewed while inputting the data. Choose the state in which the effects is to be occur. Choose the text color. Its background color, Topography You can also set the height of the text field over here. Set the inner padding from here. Next is the radio and checkbox style, for viewing this effect let's first add one more contact field item of radio. And set the field value separated by clicking enter button as beginner, intermediate, and advanced. Now for styling this let's go to radio and checkbox style tab. For displaying radio button items inline enable the inline toggle. You can set the padding to your radio button from here. And can also set the space around from here. Next is the form style, from where you can set the style of your whole contact form, by styling its border width, radius and text shadow using different border styles like solid, double, dotted, dashed and groove, on different states like normal, hover and focus. Next is the button style, from where you can style your contact form button. For hiding button from your contact form and displaying only input fields for different purpose, you can do so by enabling this hide button toggle. You can set the label of your button from here and can set the topography from this panel. For stretching your button to full width enable this toggle. You can even choose the type of button from the list of buttons like primary, secondary etc. Or can also style your custom button as per your need.
Also you can set the size from list of sizes viz. Mini, small, large etc. Or can also set the custom size button as per your need. Set the alignment of the your button from here. Next is the icon style from where you can display the icon in your button, along with your button label like this, and can style as per your need. Next is the button border styles from where you can set the border to your button. Next is the message box from where you can set the position of the success or failure message to top or bottom of the contact form. Next is the mail template from where you can create your mail template. For setting custom mail template enable the use custom template toggle and click on create mail template button. Here you can set the email ID on which you want to receive the email message from here. Next is the from email, where you can get the email address from where you received email. Next is the subject, from where you can get the subject of your email. You can also set an additional header, if any, to your contact form from here. Next is the message body where you can get the message you want to receive along with the message body. You can use a field name with a prefix dollar to print your field value. Example, if the field name is field name then use the variable dollar field name. You can also use HTML tags for message framing by enabling this use HTML toggle. Note, setting saved in create mail template will be for particular contact form. For setting fields globally, go to WordPress dashboard. Hover to page layer. Go to settings. Choose contact form tab. And set the fields globally. Do not forget to save your changes. Now, I will show you the message being sent successfully to your email address using this contact form. Here, you will see the email which will be received will all the fields entry you have inputted in your contact form. Congrats, your input has been successfully received. Congratulations, your contact form has been created and the email is sent successfully. Note, the field name in each input field must be unique, and must be set for getting successful emails. Example, for email, the field name will be email. You can use a field name with a prefix dollar to print your field value. Example, if the field name is field name then use the variable dollar field name. For more tutorials, subscribe to our YouTube channel or go to pagelayer.com slash docs.